Okay, Jason's uh, grabbed one of his uh, fixed wings aircraft that he was playing with some time ago. Um, it has a camera in the front here. It's got uh, a transmitter at the back for video, one watt transmitter. Uh, GPS unit, a telemetry unit for the uh, data and a um, Arju Pilot navigation system that's got the XYZ uh, uh, coordinate system in it. It's got compass. Uh, it's got uh, a whole lot of navigational stuff combining the GPS and, and everything. Now it's in the uh, this aircraft, but we'll be taking it out and putting it. Uh, well, we we'll, won't take it out. We need it, but we'll be putting a system such as this into a balloon system shortly. Uh, in here we have the. Um, head up display unit which combines the data out of the navigation system with the video there's the video camera uh, and it combines it and then sends it down the video and we have a 5.8 gig receiver here which uh, matches this transmitter and uh, here's a little uh, display unit that's out of a set of goggles that we took out just to show you you can see the artificial horizon in the middle you can see uh, voltages and displays of coordinates at the bottom and on the side. There's a compass uh, on the bottom right which tells us which way we're facing and a whole lot of things in here for navigation purposes on the head-up display. Um, it's a little bit, let's see if I can blank it out, you can see more. You can see all the data there anyway, uh, vaguely. So that's the, um, the whole system here. We're just in our workshop we're moving our workshop around so we're not exactly perfectly set up yet but all the gear in here is uh, set up to uh, be able to uh, provide a whole range of, of workshop services in that um, we haven't brought our uh, oscilloscope in and we haven't brought in our spectrum analyzers and stuff but uh, it's good enough at the moment and we've just lost the display jason what's happening here sorry Let's press the space bar. Space bar. Okay, so the uh, GPS isn't working so well in here because we're under a metal roof, uh, but the roller, the door in the garage is open. It, it's showing very close to our own location. But this is the Arju Pilot software for the Arju Pilot system in here. Uh, so it's receiving that through telemetry on this little unit, and that plugs straight into the USB on the computer we're running the software and um, we can control the flight from here uh, and we have all the data coming up here as well so Jason can you just turn the aircraft uh, while I watch here and we should see all of this on the, on the horizon change uh, so we know what's happening uh, with the the aircraft although it's not a camera display there there's the camera display um, this whole thing will be moved to uh, balloon flight. We'll have uh, control via the keyboard for things such as cut downs and um, a whole lot of things. We'll be able to switch between three different camera views. So we'll be able to look up and see the balloon look down during flight um, to distances of some probably 30 kilometers and uh, be able to um, provide uh, a lot of information about the land and things that we're, we're traveling over so we'll be able to look down look up and look forward we may also be uh, trying out gimbaled cameras and all sorts of feeds uh, and with a another card going into this computer we'll be able to uh, feed in the vision and stream it uh, as well so there's a good chance we can live stream what we're seeing we can change between camera views for you and uh, do a lot so it's going to be a different world during our flights we'll uh, actually also be feeding um, a, a, a flight radar type system in here or uh, ADSB unit if you look at our uh, web pages uh, on recent on the news items uh, that's uh, www.thunderstruck.space you'll see all about ADSB it means our navigation system will know exactly where other aircraft are located and uh, 
it'll display it here not so much um, I don't know if we can make this smaller we can um, but on here we will see the position of other aircraft that's being received in a receiver that will go inside the balloon so we'll see all the other aircraft around us we'll also be carrying an ADS-B transmitter 250 watt transmitter on the balloon which will also tell other aircraft where we are. So a lot of safety in what we're going to be doing in future flights, even on small balloons. And it will also help us track it. And you'll be able to see this at altitudes up to 100 and, uh, what is it, 50 kilometres altitude. Now, we're not going up that high. We're only going up to uh, about 30 kilometres, 30 to 40. Uh, and we'll be in, in there. So... Um, we will have a, a lot more to show you on here, but you'll be able to get a streaming feed of this and a streaming feed of this uh, in flight in future activities. So a um, lot of fun. It's going to be quite interesting. We may even one day be able to uh, provide steerable parachutes and potentially, uh, if we get clearance, be able to fly something like this beast um, from high altitude and see how we, we go. All right, that's all from me. I think that uh, this is uh, an extraordinary opportunity because this stuff is so light for these light planes. And um, even with three cameras and a three camera switching unit, uh, the three camera switching unit is smaller than this unit <laughs> and controlled from the ground. So uh, a lot more capability coming into our flights from here on in. Very exciting times.